thank you for the chance to be in community and thank y'all for showing up. I'm sure some of you know me. I'm sure many of you don't. Uh, the one thing I'll promise you is that you'll never forget me, right? So uh, Reggie Hubbard, he, him, his are my pronouns. I'm dialing in from the DC metro area on the Maryland side um, and just happy to be with you today. Before we get into the topic, the energy of autumn, I just want to share uh, a little bit about my teaching journey because I never thought I'd be with you here. Honestly, you know what I mean? Like uh, first time someone asked me to uh, practice this yo looked at them and was like, <laughs> I'm a big black guy. Like, why would I do that? Like, it's not for me. Um, and <laughs> yeah, true, true story. And uh, then when I first started practicing yoga, it wasn't to become enlightened or to become a teacher. It was to not curse out my boss. Like I was in a staff meeting where one of my uh, bosses looked me in the face and was like, you know, we're paying too much money on headcount and we don't know why you're here. And I'm from the East Coast, man. Like, we, you don't talk to me like that. Anyway, um, I was this close to calling her one of my created curse words. And I was like, whoo, and I stopped and then went to a yoga studio and started practicing asana twice a day, six days a week because the job was that bad and was fired via text message. And after 10 months of working at this awful place and when they asked me for an exit interview, I was like, y'all know good and well, we don't need no exit interview, but I want to thank you for how awful you treated me because you gave me wisdom to deal with adversity with grace. And then I bowed my head and walked out the door. And this is after 10 months. So when I talk about like yoga changing my life, like I'm for real, like I went from wanting to curse somebody out just for like yelling at me in a staff meeting to thanking them for firing me via text message. So yoga works, trust Reggie, black hippie wouldn't lie to you. So that's a little bit about how I've gotten into the game. And uh, I want to talk about the energy of autumn and why I chose to present this for all of us. Um, everything is going so fast right now, right? You know, like people had a little cabin fever after the pandemic. And um, now that we have a little bit of freedom, everyone's like, ah! You know, I'm going on vacation and doing this and doing this and doing this. And we are exhausting ourselves again. Right. And so in addition to being a yoga teacher, I'm also a certified mindfulness teacher. Um, so I merge yoga, physical practice and mindfulness practice so we can be more aware of our surroundings. So in my part of the world, I mean, this is it, it's scarf weather. Like it's hat weather, like it's like 46 degrees outside right now. Um, so it's autumn and autumn each season has a particular energy. And when I, when I first started practicing and teaching for the season, um, it just allowed me to see how beautiful life is, right? Like there's a rhythm that's always happening, right? That we're not even aware of. And so when we focus on the seasons, it makes us aware of the beauty of life. Like um, in my part of the world, the trees are, it's my favorite because like for most months out of the year, the trees are faking you out. They're like, oh, you think I'm green. You think I'm green. You think I'm green. I'm yellow or I'm orange or I'm red. That's awesome. And then they're like, this is who I really am. And then I'm gonna drop my leaves and then whatever, and then prepare for winter, right? And so that's a beautiful thing. Um, that is kind of the energy that I'm going through life with. Um, and we'll do this in a bit of a meditation because in, when, in autumn, we're asked to resource, then release, right? So we resource, then release. So we're gonna do a little bit of a meditation. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the themes of autumn. I'm gonna ask you to share if you want to, if you don't want to, that's cool. Um, we're going to do a physical practice. Then we're going to have a statement of intentions. Then I'm going to play some music for you. Then we're going to chill, right? So that is what I offer you. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate because I'm also, the other thing about me, I'm a former organizer, right? So call and response is what I'm used to, right? Like I'm not here to talk at you. That shit is super boring. Like what I'm here to do is interact with you and hopefully give you some stuff to work with. So that's me. Um, that's what we're going to do today. So let's practice, right? So first things first, take a breath, right? Maybe you shrug the shoulders. Maybe you get into the neck. Maybe you soften or close the eyes. Begin to find some level of organic movement in the body and tune in. 
We spend most of our time externally oriented, so bring it home. Come on in. Another 15 seconds or so of whatever feels good, right? Then we'll work on some specific things in the body. Now find a upright posture. If you've taken a seat, come, I mean, if you've laid down, come back up. And get into the shoulders, right? So inhale, shoulders towards ears. Exhale, back and around. Inhale, up. Exhale, back and around. Just recalibrating the shoulder from their inverse orientation to a more open orientation. And maybe your shoulder shrug becomes a little sassy. You know, you see prints in the background. It's okay to have a little sass. But 10 more seconds of loosening the shoulders, mindfully opening up the heart and releasing tension from this to a more open posture. Come to stillness when ready. Notice the impact of your work on the shoulder. Three clearing breaths into the new space. Deep inhale into the chest through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One. Inhale through the nose into the chest. Exhale. Two. In through the nose. Exhale. Three. Take chin to chest. Then lazily take left ear to left shoulder. Right ear to right shoulder. Building on the shoulder work with neck work. If you want to take a full circle, go easy on it. This is not headbanger's ball. It's a little bit more nurturing. Although I do love a good rock guitar riff. Left ear to left shoulder when ready. Right arm out long. Then inhale, arm up and down and find a range of motion that impacts the shoulders and the neck, seeing it as a complete ecosystem. Then find that spot where there's like ease and effort. Keep the hand soft, maybe open and close the hand, three breaths into this space, in through the nose, Exhale, clear, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Right arm lowers, chin to center. Ready to right shoulder, left arm out. Then up and down, keeping the hands soft. Exploring side to side, back and forth, the connection between the shoulder and the neck. And then find that sweet spot. Maybe it's a little bit bittersweet, but breathe into it, in through the nose. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three, chin to center, pause. Notice how you feel after aligning shoulders and neck. Then lastly, before meditation, let's put the hands together and create wrist circles here. And if you want to switch directions, go for it. If you want to make a little bit of a pop lock with the hands and the fingers and the wrist. You do what you need to do for you for the next 10 seconds or so. But enlivening the wrist, playing with the shoulder and the fingers. Then press out, pulse a bit, so maybe go in and out. 
then release the fingers, take happy fingers, massage the jaw. Then maybe it becomes the temples, maybe around the nose, maybe the forehead. Ten more seconds, let your fingers do the talking and the walking. Five, four, three, two, one. Now find a, a posture that will give you space to meditate. Notice how those simple physical exercises that we did brought our senses inward. Maybe we feel a little bit more balanced. An inward turn and more balance is the energy of autumn, the autumnal equinox, there's equal day and night. So feel that balance in the body based on the postures that we just did. Embrace the inward turn, not just as a result of the asana that we did, but as an embracing of the season of winter, pardon me, autumn. Allow eyes to be soft or closed. And from this peaceful place, consider the following, which is the energy of autumn. We talked about balance. We talked about how the days get shorter and an inward turn. Autumn is also a time for harvest. As we talked about in the beginning of the webinar, trees are doing their ultimate fake me out. They're like, yo, you thought I was green. I'm not, I'm orange. <laughs> Autumn's a season of true expression. And autumn shows us of the chronology, the rhythm of nature. Summer becomes autumn, becomes winter, becomes spring, becomes summer. Like this has happened for a while. So for the next moment or so in silence, seeing if you can feel what the season, seasonal shift means to you. You may not have the words, maybe it's a feeling. Maybe the words I've offered have sparked something creative within you. Or maybe you're just, hey man, I'm super chilling right now. So wherever you are along that continuum, be aware of the breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. Take inventory of the body. We'll have another physical practice in a little bit. And be present and be still energetically as you consider what the energy of autumn means to you. Slowly begin to come back into the body. Maybe hands touch the legs, maybe hands touch the chest or the face.
create friction in the hands and then allow heated hands to just massage one another. So just massage the hands. Heated hands one more time as if you were over a campfire, one of the hallmarks of autumn. Then take heated hands and massage the face. Where can you soften the face? Is it the jawline? Is it the actual jaws or the cheekbones? Heat in the hands one more time. Place hands over the face. For those of you with glasses, gently remove the glasses and then just massage the eyes, the temples, the forehead, around the ears. Then place hands over the eyes, open eyes into the palms, lower palms down. <laughs> Welcome back. So I'd love to hear via the chat how that practice made you feel. So welcome any sharing. And I'll tell you, since I'm sure a lot of you are teachers, everything I did and said in that practice was connected to the energy of autumn. Thank you, Mel, centered and present. Anything else, friends? Divine, grounded, peaceful, Ev, thank you. So as you all put them into the chat, I'll just offer a few thought more grounded, sweet. I loved it, calm. Yeah, that's the other thing too. If anything that I did in this class rock for you teachers, take it, baby, take it, for sure. Autumn makes me feel connected to earth and family. Casey, you're welcome, for sure. Yeah, y'all, so most people fear autumn, right? Days get shorter and look, seasonal affective disorder is a thing. And there are also things that we can do to remember that it's not just the days getting shorter, right? Um, it is about balance. You know, I'm a Libra. I turned 48 two, two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry, two weeks ago. Uh, numbers aren't really my thing. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the energy of balance, right? Like the inward turn um, is almost a defiant thing in a good way for what's happening in life right now. Turning inward um, helps us become more creative. It helps us understand that rest is a part of life, right? Rest is sacred. And so what the trees are doing, they're like, we've worked, we've worked, I'm going to go inward, hooray, they drop the leaves and then they peace out, right? So um, and let's talk a little bit more about harvest, right? In our culture, we work, 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 work. You know, that's not what the thing, that's not what this thing's about. Like if you work, um, you're supposed to harvest, right? Or when harvest isn't just about the return on the investment, harvest is like, yay, we did all this work. Let's bring in what we need. And then it's time to chill, right? Rest is sacred, rest is revolutionary. And autumn reminds us of that. Right. Autumn reminds us that it's not just about work, 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 work. It has to be about like receiving the return on the work. Or if you didn't do something, you need to like recycle your approach. That's what it's about, too. Um, and let's talk a little bit more about like a seasonal sankalpa. So many of us are familiar in yoga world about sankalpa. And we usually talk about it in the context of a 60 minute class. Why can't we do that for like a season, right? You know, and energy flows where intention goes. So for my autumn, one of the sankalpa I've made is that I've done a whole lot of work this year. So I'm going to sit back and review what worked, <laughs> review what didn't work, um, tighten up what didn't work, tighten up or release, or and like do more of what worked, right? So it's it's that introspection, it's that calibration that's important not just in general but as yogis and yoga teachers right like svadhyaya study of self is important it's not just like i'm gonna go super hard and beat mm -mm. sometimes you got to be like i'm gonna dial it back a bit review be mindful um celebrate what worked like celebrate what didn't work because sometimes things not working for you is pretty rad too um 
And the last thing I'll say um, before opening it up to whatever shares that you have based on based on what I said is um, it can't be understated the necessity for true expression, right? Um, I love the way the trees do it though, right? They're just like, they know that they're orange. <laughs> they know they're yellow or red. But for a while, they're just like, I'm doing this, I'm working it, I'm working with my forest, I'm working, you know, get my roots together, this, that, or the other. But in autumn, they're just like, okay, um, I was a team player for a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, we did great things. But as winter comes, I'm going to go on vacation from the team thing for a bit and just be like, I'm going to do this. Y'all... And I'm not saying that on some YOLO stuff. What I'm saying is that like um, this, we need more yoga teachers, yoga practitioners, people to be your unapologetic, authentic self. That's what Autumn teaches me. Um, like there is only one Reggie Hubbard. There's only one black hippie. You know, there's only one person in the yoga game that has Prince with Shiva, like Jimmy with Ganesh and a Prince pillow over his left shoulder. You know what I mean? So like that, not for everybody. But if you rock with purple, I'm your guy. And that authentic expression of self is the best you can give, best gift you can give yourself and the best gift you can give people who come to you as teacher or come to you as friend. Everyone knows if they ask me my opinion, I'm gonna give it to them from a loving place. Um, they, like, when people are like, Reggie, I want your opinion. I'm like, you sure though, right? You know, if you do, like, I'll give it, but like, so, authentic true expression of self from a compassionate place is the highest give we can give ourselves and one another which is another reason why i love autumn so i'm going to pause um and just ask you how that landed with you right like if you need me to repeat some stuff put it in the chat if you want me to put these notes um in the chat i will i don't really <laughs> i used to live in like powerpoint world on capitol hill and when i was a business dude so i don't really be rocking powerpoint like that no more um but if if you need notes, like I can send them to Lizzie and she can send them to the list. I'll gladly do that. So any reflections on the energy of autumn for you? And thank you all for your shares about how the, how the first practice made you feel. I'll take it, Joni. <laughs> I'll take it. The Casey, all good. <laughs> I mean, but that tree analogy is super powerful, right? Like, um, it shows us the necessity of working as a team. But sometimes you got to be like, yo, I'm not like I'm a yellow, like you can be green, but I'm yellow right now. It's who I really am, like whatever. Um, yeah, Pat, for sure. For sure. Like Chinese, Chinese medicine wisdom is that autumn is the season of letting go. So that is what I'm going to encourage us to do in our in our longer physical practice in a minute is just to embrace like an exhale. It can be like a longer exhale or a more expensive aggressive exhale, but we need to let some stuff go. Cool, Hillary, right on. Any other reflections? <laughs> nice, good morning. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. So cool, y'all. Um, if you have a yoga mat, um, now is the time to head towards that. Um, if you just want to do something in a chair, that's cool too. Um, we're going to incorporate like some of the things, some of the themes that we just talked about um, in uh, for autumn into a, a physical practice, right? So we can embody the things that we're talking about. Um, again, a little bit about my training. I didn't really talk too much about it, but like. 
vinyasa, I do more hatha, and so pose to pose, embracing energy, like sturdy foundation stuff, than flow. I mean, I do teach every once in a while a class dedicated to Prince. Like those classes are lit, right? So, so that's more vinyasa and wild and free. Um, but I typically teach hatha so we can have more internal focus, and then from that internal focus, when it's time to be wild and free, we can get it. But um, to prepare for physical practice, either find a upright seat, lay on the back, whatever allows you to be grounded. The other thing about autumn failed to mention is there's a lot of autumn breezes, right? The leaves get caught up in the breeze and just float and fly. So I encourage you to welcome that energy of the leaf, right? The leaf is just like, whoa, yeah, right? So the leaf was green, then it got to express its full self, then it just went, whoo, on a trip, right? So how, but the, that could not happen without grounding. So wherever your body is touching the ground, feel it and embrace it. Pretend as though you have roots that reach the core of the earth, if only energetically. And from that sense of groundedness, can you find a little bit more length, perhaps in the cervical spine, perhaps the shoulders drop, perhaps you open and close the hands, find more length other than the talons that we typically have when clutching technology. And from this grounded sense, presence yourself with your energy. How is it? Is there a genuine expression? We're gonna have free practice at the end of our physical practice. So is there a energetic expression that you need that's starting to whisper now? Just being like, yeah, you've been this, but like, you need to do this too, right? Everyone thinks you're green, but you're not green. You're like fuchsia. Rooted in connection, rooted in the breath, rooted in the body touching the ground, wherever it does. Then from a seated position, take arms out and go from side to side. Invoking the air element, invoking that you're swinging in the breeze. And then maybe arms go overhead and then come down, but find a playful twist here and imagine your fingers being the leaves, right? So expression and then free, right? Maybe eyes are soft, but again, just find some seated twist. And if you need to hold it, hold it. If you just want to take arms from side to side with a slight twist, cool. But beginning from a grounded position to work your authentic expression. Find balance with the breath. Focused inward to see what truly wants and needs to come out, what wants to express itself. Come to center, place arms at cactus or goalposts. I guess it's football season for many people. Inhale, come in, resource yourself. Exhale, come out, express yourself. Resource yourself express yourself. So this is winter resource. Okay, I'm really orange resource. Okay, I'm really bam, right? So find this fluid open and close resourcing on the inhale, expressing releasing on the exhale. Finding your rhythm. Some of you are going fast. Some of you may be going hella slow, but find this resource, release, express, resource, release. 
I'm just taking my cues from the trees. Trees are super inspirational to me right now. The next time arms are outside, keep them outside. Wide is all outside. Left hand goes down, inhale, up, side bend right. Then place the other hand, find your side bend. So from rootedness, imagine yourself like those trees in the breeze. So rather than twisting, you're just like, okay. Again, what does this awaken within you? I equate the transition from green in trees to others. So think of like, for those of us that sit at a desk all day, that's not who you really are. That's just what you do. Right, so put motion in the body for how it's designed. Whatever side you're on, linger there. Maybe you find a little bit of air guitar. Maybe you take hand back and forth, but how can your extended side stretch express what you need to express? Like, I'm a black dude who grew up in the 80s and 90s, so maybe it's a little bit of a cabbage patch or a wave or a wild, like whatever, like. <laughs> or maybe it's just this for five, four, three, two, one. Release the side stretch, find some level of celebration. Maybe it's a shimmy, maybe it's a raise the roof, maybe it's a, I don't know. Then find that side stretch on the other side. Place, inhale up, exhale. And again, whatever expression of this that would make you feel as though you are freeing up energy. That's the other thing about autumn. Like the trees are rooted so they can play in the breeze. There's a dance that happens between the earth element of the tree and the air element of the wind. So find that playfulness, find that dance, that magical connection between like the ground and the air in balance. Because if you've ever lived through a hurricane, which I have, when the air and the earth are out of balance, it's crazy. So balance, autumn, Libra season. Release the side bend if you've taken it and then pause. If you have crisscross applesauce, extend the legs, shake the legs out if you've had them cross my back. I can't see you. <laughs> so um, sorry about that. But my spirit was like, yo, man, give them a break. So thank my higher self for that. Notice how you feel in the shoulders, in the hands. How's the energy? Like, then. Make your way to child's pose. So toes together, knees wide, stretch out. Please and thank you. And in this child's pose, imagine that you're in a breeze too. So the hips wave a little bit, the shoulders wave a little bit. And then maybe you turn toes under, press into the hands and find downward facing dog. Maybe you just like pop up, but make your way to standing again, authentic expression. What do you need to get to standing? So we've had the inward turn. We've been focusing inwardly to get in touch with our song to who we really are. So use your expression to be you. Take your time to get to standing. So 20 seconds or so. If you're already there, just find a mountain pose that Colorado would be proud of. And when you make your way to standing, feet slightly wider than hip distance, arms at the sides. And let's find that again. So deep bend in the knees, sway from side to side, playing in the breeze. But now that you're standing, how can that be a little bit more expressive? So we've done the inward turn, we've created balance to give space for us to create, to 
be more self-expressive. So what does that look or feel like? Again, the energy of autumn, we're trying to press that. We're trying to embody that here. Sway, so maybe a leg comes up. Then from side to side. And if you want to keep a twist, maybe it becomes a lunge twist. Maybe it becomes a standing twist. But again, self-expression, what do you need? Autumn. If you took a twist one side that's a hole, switch the sides, please, and thank you. Then release the twist all together, heel toe the feet together, inhale arms overhead, twinkle the fingers, exhale fold forward, twinkle in the fingers, we are leaves falling off the tree, so bend the knees, rise, come all the way up, inhale, exhale, release, fingers, forward fold, falling leaves, and so find this expression. on your own for about 30 seconds or so. So resource, then release. And maybe your forward fold becomes a little eccentric. Awesome. <laughs> we don't need clones. Two or three more reach toward the head body if you need and then expressing yourself like a falling leaf. Next time you're in your forward fold, keep it. If you need something for the chest, grasp hands behind the back. If you want to grab opposite elbows, cool. If you want to find a forward fold twist, cool. But with each exhale, let something go, shifting our focus a bit more toward the breath. If you're in a twist, come to center, forward fold to whatever degree you care to. Five clearing breaths. And feel free to like, ha, like let some stuff go. It's, it's autumn, like it's not demure. <laughs> right, so we're going through some hard times right now. So inhale through the nose, exhale, let something go. Ha, one. Inhale, exhale, ha, two. Energetically release. Inhale, exhale, ha, three. Inhale. Exhale, ha, four. Inhale, exhale, ha, five. Slight bend in the knees, wiggle the fingers for the magic that is autumn. And slowly come up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Put a little wiggle in the hips because it's always fun. And then find your side bend. So we're, we're repeating the sequence that we did seated, but standing potentially gives us a little bit more, more space. So if you want to take hands like this, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care, that's cool. If you want to take a deep bend, cool. If you want to grab the wrist, so I'm grabbing right wrist to expand right side with the left hand. Find the expression that you need in the side body to release tension. Imagining yourselves, imagine how the tree must feel when it drops the weight of the leaves. Leaves are beautiful, but they're super heavy. <laughs> so releasing something, so you're lighter to head into winter rest.
release the side band or if you need to balance and take something on the other side please so again i can't see you so i'm just kind of going on intuition which is all awesome too <laughs> now feet closer together if they so feet at a comfortable cadence hip distance but that bearing in mind that's different for all of us press the palms together place them gently in front of the heart Scan the body from head to toe. So use the power of intention and awareness, which we've been cultivating this entire time. And whatever you need to do for you, two minutes of freestyle practice. So if you need a little bit more vinyasa in your life, go for it. We've warmed up the whole body. If you need a balanced posture, go for it. If you need to relax, go for it. But two minutes of self-expression. So we've all been green together. What's um, Cindy Lauper say? I see your true colors. Don't be afraid to let. Don't be afraid to let them show. Because they're beautiful like the rainbow. You just gotta believe it. <laughs> Getting in touch with your intuition, it's never a wrong answer. And it's all different for each of us, right? Seventy five more seconds of self style. How do you want to release your leaves as we head towards rest? One more minute of whatever you've chosen that feels liberating, that feels delightful, that brings you into balance. Then begin to consider what rest looks like. It can be a meditative seat. That was kind of a light practice. So maybe it's a meditative seat. Or like if you know mudra, perhaps you find a mudra to meditate. I'm going to play some sound. If you need shavasana in your life, be like that leaf that's like, I'm free. And I'm just, whoo. But find a posture that allows you to rest. And find a posture that allows you to be open to the harvest of what you've just thought about, what you've just done physically, and for the gift of rest, right? So tapping into the rhythm of nature, Autumn says, turn in and consider what rest looks like. So turning your focus in a little bit more, focusing on rest, being open to whatever is emerging, right? So if there's a statement of intention that comes on the end of this cool maybe you just feel better but as you settle into your relaxation i'm going to play a couple of gongs in the back one is more airy one is super grounding
about another minute resting as you need to. And it's my hope that you feel rested, invigorated, curious, and mad peaceful. <laughs> And I also hope that you sense, as we connect to the energy of autumn, it's like we're connecting the source. <laughs> we're drafting off the energy that's already happening. So it's okay to release. That's whatever the trees are releasing, right? It's okay to like play in the wind. That's what's happening, right? Making your way to a tall seat if you care to, it's also okay to say, stay exactly as you are. You've been expressing yourself for 40 minutes, so don't stop now. Place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly to connect with the breath, the air element. And wherever your body is touching the ground, feel connected there, earth element. See if you can be a balance between your sense of the breath and your sense of groundedness. Switch the hands on the heart and belly, please. Release the hands. Let's take four clearing breaths. Then we will awaken, be open for reflections and perhaps some intentions. Inhale through the nose, feel resourced by a purposeful inhale. Exhale out the mouth, release anything on purpose. Inhale to resource, exhale to release. Inhale, resource. Exhale, release. Last inhale, resource. Exhale, release. Create friction in the hands again, and imagining yourself in front of a campfire, responsibly built, of course. <laughs> then massage the hands, level on the hands. Friction in the hands, one more time. Love on the face. One more time, friction in the hands. And practitioner's choice, either choose the eyes or something else that may be calling your attention. Just take your chi and put, place it there. If Hand over the eyes, then gently open the eyes into the palms and lower the palms down. If you've chosen another interpretation, first of all, sweet. Second of all, make your way, make your way back. So deep bow, dear ones. Thank you all for playing today. Uh, I welcome any comments, reflections, or if there's a way or if, if you want to be like, hey, I am now committed to do this this autumn. Go for it. But the whole approach here is just to be fluid free. I teach in a way that no one does on the planet. <laughs> so like I, odds are unless you've been like one of my homies is in here, but you probably never done this before. Um, so how did that make you feel? Right. So open to all that reflection. And uh, Lizzie, back to you. Yeah, we'll give everyone a minute or two to just say their comments and reflections, intentions potentially from this session with you um i was doing it on my own <laughs> i didn't want to interrupt your flow reggie so i went off video and was was practicing with you and you know that was a that was a really awesome experience it's not something i was used to because i do more of the vinyasa you know fast moving um, but it is a nice moment to just sit down have some reflections and, and move intentionally so Thank you. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of amazing comments come through. So 
thank you everyone for joining. And I did want to mention, and Reggie, you can go into this in a, in a second, but for everyone who is in attendance who registered, you are going to be able to do a, a class with, Reg, uh, with Reggie later on this month. And I'm going to put that link in right here. But Reggie, if you wanted to expand on that, feel free. Oh, you're on mute. <laughs> Yeah, don't give this guy a microphone. Oh my God, <laughs> he's the worst. No, um, if this was to your liking, especially the sound part, like my gift to y'all is a uh, sound class um, that you just register for. Um, I'll send you the link or whatever, but 30 minutes of sound this time of year, it's election season, people are hella stressed. So let me play my gongs for you, bring a friend, you know what I mean? Like, um, and then I'll show you what relaxation looks like in 25 minutes. So it's like the best of all possible worlds. Like you get to hear cool sound through my sick mics in 25 minutes, so it's not a lot of time either. Um, so yeah, and the other thing I'll say before I forget, cause I'm terrible at this, if you want to keep in touch, please do. Like, I'm that kind of guy, right? So, Active Peace Yoga is the website, uh, activepeaceyoga.com. If you, oh, Reggie Global is the Instagram, uh, Active Peace Yoga is the Instagram. I want, like, I believe the as a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher, we don't have enough opportunity to take care of one another. So, for my teacher friends, like, however I can be helpful, I'm here for, because if teachers are refreshed and resourced and inspired, Guess what that means? Your students are refreshed and inspired and those sorts of things. So please take liberally from what I shared with you, except for my gongs, because, you know, you got to kind of come here for that. But like everything else, like take and uh, share this magic with other people because it's needed in our world right now. But yeah, next Wednesday, um, the 26th, the um, sound bath, 915 East Coast, 615 Pacific. Um, and holler at me if I can be of service. Yeah, amazing. Thank you, Reggie. Um, I, as you all know, I send out this recording. We will be sending it out tomorrow, so you all have access to this again. Um, and we will also send links to how to connect with Reggie. We'll have a link to the sound bath um, and any other thing that we had mentioned on this webinar today. So you can definitely reach out to Reggie as as you wish. Um, so, Reggie, thank you again so much for joining our community and being here. Uh, we have these webinars once a month, so definitely stay tuned for the next one. And yeah, thank you.